The latest in the debate over Aung Mokyo's Selective En Bloc Redevelopment Scheme, or SERS, continues. The focus this time, how remaining lease terms are factored into the compensation and allegations that the government wasn't sufficiently transparent at the outset. Non-constituency MP Leong Man Wai says that it's unfair that residents were asked to sell their 42-year-old flat units, that they have to top up the cost of getting similar replacement flats with 99-year leases. Now, Senior Minister of State for National Development Sim An disagrees. The government has repeatedly stated it has used the same model and approach as other SERs to compute the comp compensation for the Armokyo SERs. But the government has not admitted that the outcome of the Armokyo SERs is different from other SERs. It is disingenuous of the government to have not admitted to the different outcome up to today. It seems that he does not prefer this outcome. That does not make it an unfair one. SERS is not meant to extend a decaying lease for free to 99 years. I've mentioned that. That's not the basis upon which SERS compensation is determined. It's determined by fair, independent assessment, and that in turn takes reference from market value. Mr. Leong said that many residents were dissatisfied with the compensation and the government didn't sufficiently explain how these were determined. Siman says that the government understands that the flat owners expected more compensation based on previous SERs, but also stressed that most of them don't need to top up to buy a similar flat type with a fresh lease. She reiterated that the scheme was not designed for owners to buy replacement flats of the same size in similar locations. And she says that Mr. Leong is painting that as the objective and in doing so blurring the distinction between market expectation and a policy commitment. I'm not the one who is reshaping the expectations. For example, SIRS, all the past SIRS, the residents have received cash and get an equivalent flat and with a 99-year lease. Isn't that an expectation cultivated by the government? Am I reshaping expectations? I'm just saying the Amokyo SERS residents have a totally different package and government, please admit to it. We have said more than once that the selection of sites for SERS necessarily has to be limited and that only about 5% of sites could be suitable for SERS and that in fact many suitable sites have already gone through the exercise. So how have we not been shaping the expectations and putting out information in a transparent way?